Some of you guys will remember that I did a review of Zorin OS 8 Core Release Candidate as being an excellent replacement for Windows XP. Artyom Zorin, the developer, saw my review of this and figured he would give me a free pass to Zorin OS 8 Ultimate, and I'm going to show that to you right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. I have always liked what Zorin OS brings to the table. This is an awesome, complete operating system for people who are new to Linux and want to give it a try. The Ultimate Edition gives the beginning Linux user a taste of all of the best things that Linux has to offer you. Let's have a look and see what you get with this. So let's have a look at the top right corner of the screen. You'll see what you're getting here. As a matter of preference, I moved the pa panel from the bottom of the screen up to the top. Uh, by the gear is your name, and it gives you about the computer, Zorin Help System Settings. You can lock the screen, log out, suspend, or restart, or shut down. System Settings is a great way to get to your system settings right here, just clicking on this, and you can go in and change a lot of the settings, your background, brightness, language support, and that sort of thing. All of that is included right here. Uh, you also have quick access to your calendar where you can manage your date and time settings and add events. A volume control is included with this along with a controller for its default music management software called Music. You also have a battery indicator where you can also change your power settings. Uh, you can uh, access your availability and uh, let people know whether you're available, away, busy, that sort of thing. You also have network management and a language chooser. Now, many Linux distributions have uh, a, the, a desktop switcher where it shows your representation of the different desktops and this doesn't have it set up on here by default but how you would easily navigate between those desktops is by middle clicking with your mouse button and then you can rotate the cube and uh, in this example I'm going to show you I have music open the file browser and of course the uh, Google Chrome web browser and of course it's showing you a uh, it's showing you a thumbnail of those applications much like you would see in a Windows desktop and there we are we're rotating this is music here where you can manage your entire music library middle clicking on the desktop again I can rotate and this shows you the Nautilus file manager where you can uh, this is your home folder here but you can navigate your desktop documents downloads music pictures videos trash etc here and then of course the Chrome web browser comes preloaded with this but let's say you don't like that well you can change that as we'll get to in a moment all right let's see what you get with this we'll press the Z icon here and this opens up a menu that looks similar to a Windows 7 styled menu where you can uh, type in here and search for any items that you may want to use a power button and of course a logout dialog and beneath this help system settings universal access you can connect to network computer, recent items, videos, music, pictures, documents, and your home folder. So quick launches to those folders there. A number of accessories come with this. This is a complete operating system containing most things the average user would need. An activity journal, an archive manager, a calculator, character map. You can manage your disks. This tool is great for also uh, formatting those flash drives and uh, USB sticks and that sort of thing. So cool stuff. You get Docky with this, which, is, which will allow you to have a uh, Mac OS X type of dock on the bottom of your screen if that's something you want. You can manage your files, a font viewer, you can take a screenshot, search for files. Synergy is a quick launcher tool that you could use. There is a terminal emulator, a text editor, VirtualBox comes preloaded with this so you can run a another operating system such as Windows from within this operating system. How cool is that? And then of course you get XJournal. In games the Zorin team has cherry-picked the best of the best free software 
from the repositories. If you go into the arcade, for instance, you get Airstrike, Extreme Tux Racer, Frets on Fire, Frozen Bubble, Never Ball, and Never Putt, a Super Tux 2, Super Kart, and Warmux. And a bunch of other games are included. The popular Isle Riot Solitaire is included, Arjmatron Advanced, and a bunch of others, including Steam, is bundled in with this. And the thing about this is a lot of these games you know, are 3D accelerated and that sort of thing. So this desktop does require that you do have a fairly modern computer where uh, you have 3D acceleration working to get most of these uh, to run. And also, I've done reviews on many of these games, so if you want to see some of these games in action, be sure to search my channel. And uh, I have a playlist called uh, Free Linux Gaming Series where you can see a lot of these titles uh, being played. All right, let's see what else you get with this. In graphics, the mother load is included with this. You get Blender, uh, you get Dia Diagram Editor, Document Viewer, Ebook e Viewer, you get the GIMP, an Image Viewer, Inkscape for your scalable vector graphics, LibreOffice Draw, an LRF Viewer, Scribus, Shotwell Photo Manager, and Simple Scan. In Internet, you get desktop sharing, empathy, instant messaging, Google Chrome, as I mentioned, Ramina Remote Desktop, Skype is preloaded, Thunderbird Mail, and Transmission for BitTorrent needs. But let's say you don't like the Chrome web browser. Well, the Zorin Web Browser Manager here will allow you to pick and choose which one you want. You have to put in your password for this because you may be installing software. So, you can choose a Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, or Midori. Midori is the really lightweight option, but Opera and Firefox are contenders to Chrome. Uh, all of them are equally good, in my opinion. Uh, however, I decided to go back to Firefox as a personal preference. In Office, you get the full LibreOffice suite, along with a number of applications that will allow you to manage your finances, read your eBooks, and that sort of thing. Lots of really good things are included in here, so good stuff indeed. Do you have multimedia files or like working with home video and that sort of thing? Zorin OS 8 Ultimate has you covered, and they have the mother load of applications for managing your multimedia files. You have uh, Acid Ripper, DVD Ripper, great for those of you who want to back up those DVDs, especially children's programs. They get their discs all scratched up. Back up those, back up those DVD images. Uh, that way uh, the kids can enjoy their videos for a long time to come. I hope, I hope, I hope. You get Amarok Audio Player, Arista Transcoder, Audacity which is my personal favorite audio editor, Brazero Disc Burner, Cheese Webcam Booth, DVD at Disaster. Ooh, I haven't checked that one out. Pretty weird name, huh? But uh, they include the best of the best in here, so this might be a good one. DVD Styler, Gnome M Player, ISO Master, Jockshire Audio Editor, great alternative for Audacity, although I think Audacity has a little bit more power. It's Kazam Screencaster. You get Kadian Live. That's the video editor I use for making these videos. Awesome utility indeed. MeTV, Miro Media Player. You get the Mix DJ interface. Music, I've already discussed that. You get Open Shot Video Editor, a sound recorder. Transmageddon, yet another video transcoder for you guys to use. You have videos, VLC Media Player, the XB MC Media Center, which is also an option. When you log into this, you can press the gear by your name and select to log into that and use Zorin OS 8 Ultimate as a media center. How cool is that? And then, of course, you get Zine Media Player as well. A bunch of system tools are included with this to help you get the most out of the system and customize it. And I've already shown you the system settings, but there are uh, administration tools so you can manage your partitions. You get the uh, Ubuntu Software Center so you can download any application that you may need to add to this. There's a startup disk creator, the Synaptic Package Manager. Manage those system settings and let's say those of you uh, who have some problematic Wi-Fi hardware, you can use the Windows Wireless Drivers, also called Indus. Raptor, and this thing will let you use a Windows driver to get that Wi-Fi working. I've tried it myself. It works, and it works like a charm. You can manage other preferences. You get a disk usage analyzer, uh, Nepomuk cleaner, power statistics, a system log, a system monitor, and guess what, kids? This uses less than 450 megs of RAM, even when running all these applications and that sort of thing. Good stuff, indeed. Uh, your system settings that I already showed you earlier, the Zorin Background Plus. Now, unfortunately, I can't just demonstrate this in actual use because I am running this in a virtual machine, but take my word for it, kids, this works. 
very well. Basically, by uh, running the set background, it opens a dialog where you can select any video file on your system and use it as an animated wallpaper. Now, for some reason, in VirtualBox, and I'm amazed even the compass effects are even working, but uh, it gave me a problem and I could not uh, access the desktop uh, in VirtualBox. But I have tried this on actual hardware. Take my word for it, kids. It works and it works beautifully. And that was actually one of the selling points to get me to actually try a Zorin Ultimate uh, several years ago when I was new at Linux because I wanted all the eye candy and the special effects and the features and that sort of thing. Also in System Tools, you get the Zorin look changer. And unlike the Zorin OS 8 core that we spoke about uh, about a week or two ago, uh, this only gave you the option for Windows 7, Windows XP, and GNOME 2 appearance. This adds the Windows 2000 look. You can also add a Unity appearance or Mac OS X. So you can get that kind of look and feel that you are after with this distribution. And also in the system tools, you have the Zorin Splash Screen Manager, and this utility will allow you to change the boot screen logo. You'll see a glowing little Z icon when uh, that system boots up. So uh, you can go on gnomelook.org and download a uh, Plymouth Splash Screen and then press the Install button. It'll allow you to install it into your system, and then by pressing Change Default Theme, it'll let you navigate to where that theme is, and then you can set that. Personally, I don't care for splash screens because I leave my computer on, and I never even see a splash screen anyway because <laughs> I only boot my computer maybe once every two weeks, if that. So really have no need for that, but it is a cool thing indeed for those of you who want to just have that extra bit of pizzazz to add to your computer. Let's go ahead and close this one now, and then we'll move on again in system settings. You also have the Zorin Theme Changer, and this is a brand new feature that they have implemented. And uh, there are only two offerings right now, Zorin Light and Zorin Dark. But who knows, maybe in the future they'll be adding more. Uh, and that sort of thing, and you guys uh, have seen this in action already on my uh, Zorin 8 uh, release candidate video. In Universal Access, there are a bunch of tools for those of you who need, have, need the additional accessibility options. There's a Celerator, an Easy Stroke Gesture Recognition, Onboard Keyboard, so that you can use your mouse to type with the keyboard. There is a Screen Reader on here, as well as a Text to speech support. Zorin OS also gives you the ability to run some of your Windows applications and games natively in your Linux environment. It won't run all of them, but there are tools included here to help you to get some of those applications and games working. And among them are Play on Linux, a great entry level front end for Wine, uh, good for the beginner to help you to get commonly known applications working. Also, this includes Wine Tricks, which will allow you to download dependencies for a program such as MSXML. Maybe you might need DirectX or other runtimes that an application may require. This will download those for you to help you to get those Windows applications and games working. And as I mentioned before, Zorin OS 8 gives you the ability to have the full benefits of the Ubuntu Software Center. So if there is an application or game that you require that is not already preloaded onto this distribution, this is where you can go to get it. They'll give you uh, some new applications, and some of these are paid applications. But most of the applications you're going to be able to get from here are free and open source software. Okay, so you have a number of accessories, books and magazines, developer tools, games, graphics, internet tools. I mean, the sky is the limit, and the applications that you can get for this are broad and far-reaching. So, you know, uh, you can download one application if you decide that that doesn't work for you. Odds are you're going to find three or four different applications that will do the same thing but offer different features. So well worth uh, taking the time to look at some of the applications that are included uh, in the Ubuntu Software Center. At the end of the day, I really enjoy what Zorin OS 8 Ultimate brings to the table. Lots of goodness for the newcomer to enjoy. 
I feel it is worth every penny that they are asking for. It helps to continue the development of Zorin OS and it also helps to finance the developer's education. As I understand, he is in college. So uh, kudos to the developer for finding a really good way to uh, help with that expense. So be sure to check out the link in the show notes below. It'll take you to the Zorin OS website and definitely download and give this one a try. And as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out.